engage in selective treatments to control gastrointestinal nematodes in dairy cattle. Hello, nice to see you again. Today we're going to see how we can optimize the selective deworming strategy in a farm that is already engaged in this approach. So join me for a visit to David's farm. Hello, Doc. Good to see you. Hello, David. You told me that you treat only a part of your lactating herd based on your experience. I do, and almost always did. Why? Well, you are already implementing a selective treatment strategy, which is good. But to base your decision only on your experience may not always be reliable. You may treat too many cows, therefore impacting your profitability by treating dairy cows that will not increase their milk production after treatment. As you know, it is not an easy task to select the right ones. Parasites are silent thieves and maybe some of the cows you put aside are worth treating. So you're saying that there is a better way to select cows? Yes, you can optimize the selection of dairy cows to be treated using validated criteria. This will allow you to treat only cows whose milk production is affected by gastrointestinal nematodes. Treating these cows will result in an increase in milk production. So how do I know which cow I should treat? First criteria, focus on cows that calf during the grazing season. Easy to find. Look at their level of production and focus on cows that underperformed in early lactation in comparison with their herd mates at the same lactation stage. Okay, so basically it's the cow that calved during grazing and is behind the others when starting her lactation that needs to be treated. Exactly. According to field studies, you can expect an average gain of about one kilogram per cow per day using the criteria we have just talked about. Remember that this is an average and can vary from herd to herd. Well noted. Thank you. As previously discussed, it is important to consider the type of dewormer and how it is administered. Ask your veterinarian if you're interested to implement selective deworming in your farm. And watch our other episodes to know other farms' deworming practices.